Welcome, plungers. Thank you for tapping in. Well, well, we're here. I want to do another review. So let's just go through the cards. I mean, this could be also a flex video as we scroll through and look and see what I got here. But yeah, let's see what we got. Let's not go too fast. Let's not speed it up too much. But let's see what we got. And what we can review today. What are some of my favorite cars in this game? This GT ATS is nice. Uh, I'm going to save, I'm going to reserve Audi. So we'll just skip right over Audi. Automobili Pinafrina. I think I reviewed that car already. Um, let's have a look at it though. Let's have a definite look at it. Let's look at it. Just look at it. This is my livery, my own personal design. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. It's hard. This is hard. If I didn't review this already, I would I would have re definitely reviewed it again. Definitely would have reviewed it again. But uh let's uh I think I did that Continental GT also. I definitely did that Bentley, that uh Turbo R. Uh should I do the Continental Super Sport? I mean, I got a whole thing for Beamers, so we're going to skip over Beam Brabham. No, I think, yeah. Uh, do I do the Brabham? Because this car handles like it's on rail. I don't know why the handling for this is 8.8. .8. This car definitely has better handling than that. Um, uh, I mean, we're only up to C, and I haven't figured out what... Okay, we're going to skip right over Chevrolet also, because I have some cars in there that I want to... This is it right here. I think I did this one too, the Rebel Concept. Great car. I gotta go through my own videos and see what I've reviewed or not. All right, let's do the DeLorean. Since it's coming out in this update, let's do the DeLorean. It's part of this update. I already have it. So let's check it out. Let's give it a, let's give it a spin before we throw anything on it. Let's see what we got. It's a D-Class. Is it? Yeah, D-Class, 464. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like I'm chasing down this, this Venom here. I mean, this uh, Hennessy, Hennessy Camaro. Which is one of the best, best drag cars in the game. It's, I know I rated something else the best muscle car in the game. Oh, classic muscle car. Yeah, yeah, classic muscle car is what I rated. I didn't do a full muscle car video yet. And uh, spoiler alert, that thing might win. Like, easily might win. Because I think that's one of the few muscle cars that get up to um, X-Class. However, there are other areas that it it might fall short of other muscle cars in fun factor might be one of them while it is incredibly fast it, it, it's not the most fun car to drive like i'm about to say about this one right here so let's take this shortcut because i do not want to yeah i'm not trying to drive all the way i mean i could very easily i could very easily just teleport Come on, we're enjoying the music, we're enjoying the company, right? It's me and you, right? And we're having fun, right? Driving across this, watching our tracks in the sand, getting a little bit of BS air. <laughs> that was that was terrible air. But yeah, let's see what this DeLorean could really do. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta check something out for real. I gotta, I gotta really see some, I gotta see what the top speed of this car is. Is it 88.7? Is it 88.7? No, you gotta see right now. I mean, all it's gotta do is go past 88 and I'm good. Because if 88 is the top speed on this car, well done, Forza, well done. 
Nope. Nope. Okay, now I will teleport because driving back there at this slow pace is not something I want to do. So we're going to jump in here. We're going to tune it. And then we're going to uh, take it on my test track and see what it does. So upgrades and tuning. Custom upgrade. First thing I go to is engine and see what kind of engines I could throw in here. Base engine is 130 horsepower. And we got 500 and a 702. We got 505 and a 707. 475 with another 702. And we have 1750. 747. Guess which one we're going with? Four wheel drive, because I don't think I'll be able to handle this car without uh, in rear wheel drive. I, I don't think so. And we're already. From D-Class, all we did was engine swap and convert the drivetrain, and we're already at 843. 846 now. I'm not sure if I'll throw this on yet. Actually, I'm definitely throwing it on because it raises my performance index. Does this get turbos? No turbos for this car, so... Well, no upgrades for the turbos. Well, because I don't know if it has turbos in there, but we'll find out in a minute. So we throw the slicks on. Why fatten up the tires? Um, lighten up the wheels, and we're gonna go to the old faithful 41 pounds lighter. Wow, so we're ready at S2, and we didn't even touch the engine yet. We'll touch the engine last. Let's go to the brakes 945. 946, get nothing. 947. Um, 48, 49, 51, 951. Okay, this one is the one here. Let's see what we get. 964 before any engine parts. I don't think this is going to have too many engine parts. It might just have five or six. One. Here we go. The turbos. Um, and it doesn't give us any, yeah, it doesn't give us any bonus. I didn't think we'd be able to get any hearse perks in this car after that. 1750, like, what more are they gonna give us? What are they crazy? For a DeLorean that only needs to go 88.3 or 7, I don't leave in the comments what the exact speed for time travel is in this car. But yeah, why? Like, why? So we're going to we're gonna leave that out about there. Gearing. Oh, I didn't change my transmission, did I? Okay, we've got six speeds here. Let's see if six speeds could could could, could handle it. So let's let's bring this up to the top. Let's bring this up closer to the top. Let's bring this closer to that. Uh, let's come down here. Make this a little bit smaller. Make that right there. Make that right there. Make that right there. And then take that to, no, that's too far. Right about there. Alignment, let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Cause I don't wanna be here all day, do you? I mean, we having a good time, but you know, let's not get it twisted. I know y'all don't want to be sitting here watching this video all day. Y'all want to go try this out, right? So let's get y'all there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just get y'all there. Um, the springs, I'll probably bring it to about 900. I think. It's even right in the middle. I usually do about 1100, but it seems like 1100 would be too far past middle. So let's just go 900. Ride height, you know we slamming it. Damping, uh, let's take that to 10-ish. And 6-ish for the bump stiffness. Arrow, we'll leave that for now. Oh, I don't know where, I don't know my center of balance. Um, we'll figure that out right before the race. And with this amount of horsepower, I don't take any chances. I bring my acceleration in the rear down to about 20. 
for my differential. And in the front, 10 or 12. And the bottom number, my rule of thumb is like usually make it about half the top number. I don't know. I don't know specifically like the formula, the mathematics behind it. I just do it, just works for me. And so far that's been working for me. So we're not gonna change anything about the DeLorean, right? We're just gonna DeLorean it, right? Yeah, this is cool. Okay, the six speed is working pretty good. I like the six speed. Wait, I put differential on it, but I didn't change my transmission. Was that an option? I'm not even sure, but uh, let's see where my center of gravity, my center of balance is. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, uh, 44%. So, let's make this uh, 48, 48-ish. And what did I change? Okay, so we're back in it. My creative hub. And while we do this race, I'll talk about what my final score will be as we advance through the race. So let's do it. So, so far, I think I'm going to add another parameter to it. Design, how it looks, is also very, very important. So it'll be a six tier thing. And for the last video, for design, for that S2000, I'd probably give that a four and a half, because that's a beautiful car, which will bring the score up to 26, 26.7, 25.7. Wow. Okay, it doesn't quite handle the way I would like it to. And I'm sure that could be fixed. But let's see what, what score we can get what our time could be possibly before the end of this. This is, is out. It's really, it feels fast. It feels very, very fast. Even though I'm only going 260, 240, it feels like it's going faster than that. I like the way the suspension feels. It's, it's tight, it's very tight, it's planted. Very, very tight. The turning isn't too good yet, but I think that could be adjusted with suspension. Let's see what the braking is like. Not the best turning radius, I'll tell you that. Because you know you're supposed to be doing about an average of about 80 miles per hour. However, it did accelerate quickly to that checkpoint. Yeah, I could not have done that corner at 200 miles an hour. Could not have done that one at 270, 280. Okay, so let's go over the checklist. For accessibility, I'm not sure how expensive this car is, but considering that it's part of the, the playlist like right now, I doubt you can go and buy it. And I know people are selling this for 20 million. So for accessibility, this gets a, a one and a half. For tunability, seeing as how my base tune Still need some tweaking, and that's what I go by. That base, how close is, is that base tune to the optimal tune? Um, I'm gonna give it a three. For fun factor, I mean, come on. It's the DeLorean for Back to the Future. That gets a, that gets a solid four. 
And I'll give design a five for that same reason. So what's that? We got we got four plus four plus five. It's thirteen. Um four because of the two twos. Plus four plus five. And there's one more category? Drivability or something like that? I don't know. Oh, there's two more categories. Performance index which I'll give it three. So that brings us to 16. And I'm not exactly how sure, I'm not exactly sure how well it did in this race, but I think I'm giving it a three for having 264 as a performance index and not breaking three minutes. Cause I don't think, I know I didn't break three minutes. I didn't even look at the score, but I know I didn't break three minutes. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for tapping in. Peace.